Welcome to my home kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make Indian style rice pudding that is kheer. Mm, it's gonna be so delicious. So let's get started. Using a heavy bottom pot here and in this I'm going to add four cups of milk. Using full fat milk, full cream. It's not skimmed so adding four cups here and there are two variations to this dish you can use cooked or uncooked rice I'm using uncooked rice which I have soaked in water for about two hours four cups of milk in my pot here and I'm going to go ahead and add two green cardamom so what I've done is simply uh, split them so that all the flavor from the cardamom uh, gets infused with the milk and we will add pinch of saffron and we'll bring our milk to boil once it comes to a boil we'll go ahead and add our rice there's a lot of patience once the milk comes to a boil we will turn down the heat to very very low flame our milk has come to a boil so we'll go ahead and add our rice and turn the heat to the lowest setting and let our rice cook with milk it will take about 30 minutes and we'll keep stirring it in between so that the rice and milk doesn't stick to the bottom and right before it's almost gonna be done we'll go ahead and add our sugar sugar should be as per your taste I'm going to add about three tablespoons in this recipe so just adding my rice and mixing it well with the milk and let everything blend together, cook together, although a little time consuming, but the results are really worth trying this recipe. So, look at that, our rice pudding is almost ready. See rice have cooked with the milk and we'll go ahead and add sugar. Uh, as per your taste, I'm adding three tablespoons so add that mix it well I've added three tablespoons of sugar as per my taste you feel free to go ahead and add more or less as per your liking and we'll go ahead and garnish it with some uh, nuts of our choice you can use raisins pistachios almonds cashews I'm going to use uh, chopped cashews and almonds and for almonds make sure you soak them in water and then remove the skin so basically I had uh, soaked my almonds in water for 10 minutes in warm water and then I peeled off the skin and chopped them because it doesn't taste good when the skin comes in the mouth so we'll add this in and it's ready to be served enjoy this yummy delicious rice pudding either hot or cold I prefer it cold and most people like it cold as well so it's a lovely dessert ready for you to enjoy